You know what time it is. I'm a day late, like usual. It's Tablescape Tuesday, and the hostess is the Grace Life DIY Home Decor, and the co-hostess is... is Amethyst Adventures, another awesome channel. Go check out both these great creators, and don't forget to check out the playlist. Everybody put a lot of time and effort into it. Now let's go see what Grandma did. Well, I am a whole day behind on doing uh, tea, the Tablescape Tuesday. Sorry, my husband was in the hospital on Sunday and Monday, and I was so overwhelmed, I just couldn't do anything. So, we're trying to try to get caught up. We're so far behind on making posts. Tomorrow, I'm not going to make any new posts. Uh, I need to get some rest. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be just uh, putting up some posts of the family get-togethers and we'll put it up as family time and uh, we can get to know my family a little bit better they're just going to be slideshows mostly there might be a little bit of talking but not much it's just going to be an easy day tomorrow just to show you what a wonderful family i have now let's get back to today's video well as you can see i have my beautiful these are new i got these at home goods uh, probably about a month ago I didn't buy them, but I haven't used them yet. Uh, we're going to count these as inspired Mackenzie child pieces because they're black and white checks. Because you know we're going to be doing at the end of August a black and white challenge. And it can be anything. It doesn't have to be a tablescape. It can be a cozy corner, a coffee station. You don't even need to use real Mackenzie child pieces, but you do have to have Mackenzie child style or inspiration. So I'm just showing there's plenty of things out there that you may already own and have. You could use this for a country uh, display. It doesn't just have to be for something for Mackenzie Child. Uh, this is what I originally bought it for was to do a little bit of country because I don't hardly have any pieces to do country. And a lot of my awesome creators friends do have stuff. So I thought, well, let me buy these. These are beautiful. They've all been stitched and the detail work is beautiful. All the scallops I just love them and I wanted to share it with you today well let's see what oh and the tablecloth I've already had for quite some time it's been in a lot of videos so let's see what else grandma's going to share today now this is just going to be tablescape Tuesday today but if there's anything that could be used for Mackenzie Childs or inspiration of Mackenzie Childs I'll let you know you could use something like this Come on guys, let's get this challenge at the end of the month to be my biggest one ever. These are the plates I'm going to use today. These were bought two or three, maybe even four years ago. They're not new either. Uh, I'm going to use this one for the center of my table. And I have one over here. And I have one over here. Like I keep saying, the lighting is terrible this time of day. but. I just can't get up early right now. I've been so over exhausted. So we're just gonna have to deal with bad light and put the videos up as is. Only can do what you can do. Okay, now let's keep working on putting this together. Keep in mind, this is going to be out in the garden and we are doing a luncheon with just me and my girlfriend and we're just gonna sit down and have a nice glass of something non-alcohol and um, something cold because it's so hot and humid here grandma can't even think of anything that's hot keep in mind i'm not going to be serving any food that you need silverware with but we always need a napkin to wipe our hands and face off after eating so this is the how it's going to look it has a simple little plate with a simple little napkin and of course a glass something to drink whatever you wish in fact, you could even say one of these places for you to come and sit down and visit with Grandma. So let me know what was your, gonna, gonna be your favorite. This is the first one. There's gonna be four of them I'm gonna share with you uh, because everybody knows how much Grandma loves floral arrangements. Sorry, the lighting is so bad here. Let me see if I can get in here and get cause some shade. You can see how beautiful my butterflies are flowers and I always 
change thing. Everything here on the centerpiece has been used in a past post. I maybe changed a few of the little floral pieces, but it's still something that I've shared and had. The pumpkin is from last year. It's not new either. You know, Grandma, I like to reuse, repurpose, shop the house as much as possible. And sorry about the sound effects in the back. Now all the animals in the, in the neighborhood want to start barking with excitement that I'm filming outside. The nice thing about a flower arrangement like this, it's very low. You could have it in the center of your table. You could have it in the center of your table. And um, you can see the people across from you and visit. So this is the advantage of having a very low one like this one. And of course, you know how much Grandma loves her little bees, and there's a few little bees in here also, along with what Grandma also loves is her butterflies. So let's go change this out for another one. Well, to keep in with my garden theme for my garden lunch with my friend or you, I brought out my carrot seeds. Have you ever seen a flower arrangement made with carrot seeds? Just moving this plant from where it was, if you can see. See the little seeds dropping off of my hand? We'll have little carrots growing in my house. Whoops, I don't want to come off. Oh well, we'll try to shake them off in the garden. But that's what they are, carrot seeds. A flower arrangement made with carrot seeds. Oh my, I love these. And you know, I grow these purposely just for these flowers. And I couldn't even tell you what kind of carrot because these are the, from the rainbow carrots. I use some of them. And that's probably what I'll be planting from now on. It's just the rainbow carrots. It's beautiful color, a lot of variety. And the grandchildren and great-grandchildren are always amazed seeing different color carrots and what they see in the store. So that's what I'm going to grow. Everything in here that you see now, except for the placemats, are we've had for some time. This has already been in a post, but I probably wouldn't count it anyway because I just cut it from my garden. I didn't spend any money for anything here. They were just some seeds. So maybe five cents for the seeds, I don't know. Even these beautiful flowers are from seed that I grew. So these are number two. Let me know what you thought about a carrot seed centerpiece. Oh my gosh. And this is another one that's not too tall. And you could sit across from someone and maybe see them. And the little container that they're in, I already had it. Okay, let's see how it looks with the tablescape. I can get back far enough to share. Oh, I have a little visitor came to see me. Oh, he's in my hair. Oh, my God. Hope he gets out all right. If I get a chance, I'll show you the bumblebee that decided it wanted to be in this video. Don't forget now, we have an extra setting just for you to come and have lunch with us or brunch. This is number two. Well, here's number four of the centerpieces. This one, I went out and cut vegetables out in my garden. I know they probably don't look quite as beautiful as the store has out, but they were grown in my garden and they're healthy, no pesticides. Everything grew very well. They're not as big. Maybe if I'd fertilized more, they would have been bigger. But there's just me and Grandpa. We don't need massive vegetables to eat. It's fine for me and Grandpa. And I usually grow the smaller tomatoes because I don't have as much trouble with bugs. Well, what do you think of number three, Tablescape? I think it went really well with our theme. Well, maybe I should go over here. This place hasn't got much sun. I think it goes with the vegetable theme the best out of everything I've shared. And another great thing about this one, as you can see, it sets low and you can have everyone sitting around the table and eating. Well, let me know. We have one, two, and three. Now, number four, 
is coming up next, so let me know what you thought about that. But let's get back here and take a picture of what it looks like. I think it looks pretty good. Like I said, it's simple, basic, and it's just enough room for me to sit down with one of my awesome friends like you to just have a nice chit chat in the garden today and have a nice little sandwich and maybe some little chips and have a glass of Kool-Aid, wine, or tea. Definitely something cold and definitely something with ice. It is so hot and humid here. Well, let's get number four done. Well, here's our fourth and final tablescape centerpiece. Let me know what you thought. It's a pretty big one. This one definitely will be setting how it is right here. There would only be two people in front, like it's set up here, or at each end. But it is a big one, and nothing, I didn't buy anything to put this together, because this one I've had for quite some time, and I just pull my flowers out and put them back in, and we make different displays with it. So. I really don't anchor anything down. There's things in there, to the styrofoam to stick it into, but nothing's glued or really anchored. It can come out because I can't afford to be buying beautiful silk flowers every day, even though it seems like I do anyway. But I like to just change my arrangements, and this is what I do. So this is how this one looks. Let me get back further. So it took, had to go back that far because it was so tall. Well, what do you think? I have your plate waiting for you to come and sit down. You decide what one you want to sit with and enjoy. Sorry, my pumpkin's behind my flower arrangement because I kept wanting to fall over. And I just am too hot and too tired to go back in the house and try to figure out something to hold this upright. It was just too big for this table. Thank you so much, my dear friends. Hugs and kisses to all of you. We love you so much. Please, please give me a like button and please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already following, think about it.